All right, so I just got done at the chiropractor looking slightly ratchet, but I'm super excited for this video. As you can see, I'm gonna be having my Postmate buy a full face of makeup for me, and I'm gonna do a full face wearing all of the makeup that they pick out. So I saw Gen X Pen do a video where she had her Postmates just get random stuff from Target for her. So I'm gonna link her video down below so you guys can go check it out. But I haven't seen anyone do a Postmates buys my makeup video yet. I'm super curious to see how this goes. For those of you who don't know or are new here, Postmates is my life. It's basically like a delivery service. They do food, they'll deliver dry cleaning, they literally do anything. So this is very fitting. Hell yeah, we got a guy. He looks pretty legit. His name is Jordan. Tempting to block out my address here, but here's Jordan. Looks like a nice fella. I'm having him go to CVS, he has a nice selection there. He has almost five stars. Looks young, looks hip, looks with the times. We'll see if he knows how to pick out makeup. So if you guys are excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So I just texted my Postmate, see if he responds. Okay, he just responded. I'm excited. I think he's gonna do a good job. I believe in you, Jordan. You got this. Okay, I just got a notification that he is on the way, which is slightly concerning because I think he literally did that in about 18 minutes. I can't even pick out foundation in 18 minutes, so I don't know how this dude got a full face of makeup. Update. I'm waiting for him to open the door. Got the cam on. I'm following him on the map and he keeps like circling the building, so I don't really know what's going on. Where are you at, Jordan? How's it going? So awesome. I do, that's yeah. a small bag for a full face. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of stuff. I picked all kinds of other stuff. I asked like the people there and everything. <laughs> Did you? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> She's a famous YouTuber. Thank you for doing that. Want to say hi to YouTube? Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right, here's Jordan, uh -huh. the postmate. Yeah, How confident are you? Um, I mean, <laughs> Kind of confident. Pretty heavy small bag, so I think you did okay. <laughs> You'll figure it out. All right. Make it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> he was hella funny. This is a tiny bag. I'm like slightly concerned, but there is a lot of stuff in here. I took a peek, but I haven't looked at everything. I do see foundation, so that's good. Let's go see what he got. By the way, I can't remember if I said in the car, but I gave him a $150 spending limit. And I looked at the Postmates receipt and he spent $154. So good job, Jordan. So let's see what $150 at the drugstore got us. I washed my face, but I haven't primed it or anything. I also don't have a chair because it's packed. So I'm just chilling, standing right now. I took a tiny peek in here when I was at the door and I see like five foundations right now. <laughs> I sent him the link to my channel in the message. I don't know if he actually looked at it, but if he did, probably saw a foundation everywhere and just bought a shit ton of foundations. Whoa. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. So Jordan bought me six foundation options. This is probably about a hundred dollars right here. Don't quite know if I needed six foundations, but he had to cover his bases, you know? He did get an array of shades, so that's good. We have the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream in light medium 20. I don't think I've ever actually tried this. We have the Dream Liquid Mousse by Maybelline in 60 Sand Beige. Definitely not my color, but I can maybe use this as like a bronzer. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 115. Good job, dude. Revlon Color Stay 150 Buff, the two in one. CoverGirl 3 in one, Simply Ageless in 245 Warm Beige. I don't have a receipt, by the way, so I guess all of these are gonna be going to friends. And he got Revlon Color Stay and he got the combo oily version, but he got the shade 200 nude, which is definitely way too dark for me. Shade wise, I think my best bet is probably Maybelline Fit Me, but I hate this foundation. I have a whole review on it. I kind of want to try the BB cream because I've never tried this. And if it's too dark or doesn't have enough coverage, then I can just use it as like a base kind of. Definitely too dark and it has really light coverage, but it's giving a really nice kind of luminous, healthy glow. Maybe I should have mixed this in with Maybelline Fit Me. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit more and mix in Fit Me in 115. I can't get over how fast he did that. He said that he had the ladies in CVS help him. I wanna know what woman told him to buy six foundations. It's also about 100 degrees in this room. It's looking dewy, but there might be some sweat mixed in there. Way too dark, so I'm gonna blend this all the way down my neck. It's not showing up nearly as dark on camera as it is in real life, but my face is like orange right now. I'm supposed to go out and have dinner with my roommate after this. <laughs> it's gonna be looking good, looking bronze. Okay, so he did get me a concealer. Good job. I think he went pretty hard in the Revlon aisle. He got a uh, Revlon Photo Ready in light medium 003. Maybe since my face is dark right now, this won't be too off. I don't think I've ever used this concealer. Get the under eyes real good. This looks to be about the same shade as the foundation, so I might actually use this to spot conceal too. 
and prime the eyes because we did not get an eye primer. I would have been thoroughly impressed if you got an eye primer. I'm just adding any to my acne spots. So I don't have any kind of powder whatsoever besides a blush. I'm gonna do that after to give my skin a couple minutes to set because putting blush on top of this super dewy, sticky, face right now is gonna be a hot mess. So let's move on to eyes. It looks like he got me two eye products. Again, sticking with the Revlon theme. This is the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow. Oh, cool. This is in 710 Not Just Nudes. So these are all creams. And then he got me a little Maybelline quad over here. Some nice greens. So I'm gonna go in with the cream ones first to serve as kind of a base. Okay, so here's what the little quad looks like. Light shade looks like, might be nice. So I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And I don't have any brow products either. So we're going browless. This has a little bit of illumination to it, but for the most part, it's pretty bland. Is that the right word? It's pretty toned down. So I might actually use this. This could be a disaster, but I might use this to brighten up the under eyes a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones with this too, since I don't have a highlighter. This shade right here actually might work as a face highlight too. So I don't really have any crease shades in this palette besides a sparkly green. I think I'm gonna bring one of these cream brown shades into the crease. I'm first gonna use this lighter brown shade right here. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I can use that darker one as for my brows too. Now I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown shade. Just deepen it up a little bit. Ooh, I think I had some powder left over in here, whoops. Actually, I don't know. I think that's the cream product. Yeah, it's kind of intense. Actually, I think I'm gonna take that same first brown shade that I put on the eye and use it as a contour because it's pretty cool tone. So it might work. I'm blowing that out. There we go. These actually work really well on the face. I'm having one of those days where I just want my hair off my head right now. I'm gonna do a little nose contour action for the lip. I think I'm gonna attempt to put this brown in my brows. It is a little bit metallic. I'm not gonna do like a full on brow. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Oh, that totally works. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this thing, I thought it was gonna be kind of worthless, but I think this is what's saving the day. Now we gotta go in with this green palette. A really pretty kind of taupe shade right here that I think I'm gonna use. Use my finger to put that on the lid. Ooh, dang. I'm gonna take that white shade for the inner corner. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go in with a dark green, but I'm gonna use, what brush? I'm gonna use a little blending brush to get the lower lash line with this. I don't have any kind of eyeliner, so I'm actually gonna smudge this on the top too. I wanna use that same inner corner shade as a face highlight. My skin gets really weird texture when I try and put powder on top of something that isn't set. So I'm just gonna kind of pat this on instead of blend. So he got me two mascaras. <laughs> this guy just likes to have a plan B. This brush one looks like it's more up my alley, so I'm gonna try this one. Looks a little bit bigger, fluffier. Ooh, I like the packaging on this. It's like matte black. My ankles right now, which in the stance, now we're doing a lunge. Not bad. I feel like mascara is very, just depends on personal preference. To give you guys some reference, I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the Catrice Glam and Doll. I usually layer those and get a shit ton of volume with that. And I recently took off lash extensions, so I have like barely any lashes right now. So he did get me lipstick. I haven't looked at the color yet. Oh, a coral, very summery. So he got me Revlon. <laughs> this is in the shade 750 Kiss Me Coral. I've been really into these red orange kind of shades lately. So glad I didn't go with a full on green smoky eye. Oh, heck yeah. And I don't have a liner or anything, so I'm just gonna attempt to do this as clean as possible. Besides this transferring onto my teeth every two seconds, I'm really into this. Good color choice, very summery. So this is the True Match blush in the shade N56 Apricot Kiss. I actually really like this shade. All right, so this is the final look. Everything is on my face minus four foundations. Oh yeah, already on the teeth. I think overall I give Jordan a solid seven. He hit the basics pretty well and he did give me lots of options. I like the lipstick choice. I think this thing was actually the winner out of all this because it was just really versatile. I actually really like it as a contour and it looks nice as a face highlight too. It just looks really natural and subtle. So I use this for a lot of different stuff. 10 out of 10 pick. I hope you guys liked this video idea and enjoyed it. Let's try and get this to 10,000 likes for Jordan the Postmate. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 6 p.m. Pacific time, Foundation Fridays every single Friday. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.